Hello, welcome to the video guide about enabling LED notification alerts in Windows 10 Mobile. Now, what is this LED alerts? LED alerts is pretty much what it is in Android, it will emit an LED alert when there are notifications. So, how does it work in Windows 10 Mobile? When there is a notification, an LED will start to blink for every 2 seconds until the notification is dismissed. This can be customized using this guide so that blink seconds can change. Now to the background of this feature. This feature was never officially released to the stable releases of Windows 10 Mobile. It was said that it's up to the OEMs to take advantage of it and any of the older Lumia devices before 2015 are not capable of this. Although this was not true as Lumia 730 and 735 are capable to use this feature but were left behind. Also ultimately, there was no Windows Phone to support LED notification alerts. So, this guide will walk you through on how to enable LED notification alerts for capable Nokia Lumia and other OEM devices. For that, let's see what devices are capable to make use of this feature. There are two methods which this feature can work. The first and the intended method is the dedicated LED method. The second one is kinda cheating. But it does work and it is using Windows button in navigation bar as the LED in case the device don't have a dedicated LED. This is how these methods displays LED notifications. The dedicated LED position can be changed according to device model. As for the limitations, in some devices, Windows button will not blink, but will stay on instead. My personal recommendation is to enable LED notifications only if your device is in the dedicated LED models. The Windows button blinking is not bad though, it's all about your personal preference. So if you think you need this feature, then proceed with the video. First download both of these files. This is the LED Alert Cab files and this is IU Tools. Open LED Alert Cab folder and you will see 5 folders of different Windows 10 Mobile OS builds which include cab file for each of them. We need to choose the cab for the OS version of our phone. In your phone, go to Settings, then to System. And then to About. Click More Info and take a good note of the OS build number. In the cab list, delete all others except the folder matching your OS version. Next is to install IU Tools. If you already have it skip this step. If you don't have a PC, you can use IUWP application. So what to do if the OS version you have in your phone isn't among the list? We have included only the most used production releases only cause if we had to cover others, it will be huge list and will be pointless. In such case, you can either request for the cab in our Telegram support group or update or downgrade to a supported OS versions in this guide and apply LED alert feature. That is all, what next is the enabling. First thing to do is to push the LED alert cab to the phone, I am going to use IU tools in PC. Go to the displayed path in your PC file explorer. Once you get there, click on the address bar and type CMD. Then press enter and it will open an elevated command prompt window. Now start typing the command. We need the full path to the cab to place between double quotes in command. Copy it and paste it. End double quotes. Double check the command and the path and check the phone is plugged to the PC via an USB cable. Then hit enter to trigger IU tool to push the package to the phone. You can check the progress in phone by going to Windows Update Settings. Once the progress reach 100%, your phone will automatically reboot. Then the typical updating process will happen which is the rotating cogs. 
Once that finished, your phone will boot back and do the data migration steps. Now, all left to do is enabling LED alert feature in the registry, that can be done easily using interop tools tweaks instead of direct registry editing which is kinda a hassle to explain as it's different per device so huge thanks to Gustav Mons for that. After opening interop tools, open side menu and expand tweaks section. Choose notification LED. Now. Click on the bell icon and that will write the necessary values to registry. Restart the phone afterwards. After the phone boots back, go to settings. Then to system, and to notifications and actions. There. You will see that all of the app notifications have the LED phrase now. If you go into an app notification settings, then you will see a toggle to enable or disable LED alerts for that specific app. For further more customization of this feature, continue to the next chapter. We can customize two aspects of this feature, those are the LED intensity and LED blink period. To change them, we need to edit the registry by ourselves. Go open interop tools. If you are wondering why I'm not using notification LED tweak page in interop tools to customize them, that's because currently they are not working. If that is fixed, I will leave a note in video description indicating the interop tools version it was fixed. For now, we need to go to registry browser. Go to the displayed path. First we will change the LED intensity, open the intensity, integer, LED intensity means how much bright the LED should blink, the default value is 100 which is the max brightness the LED can get, you can set any value between 1 to 100 which is lowest to brightest, I will set 10 as the value, you can set any you want. Then save the value and restart the phone for the changes to take effect. Next, we can customize the LED blink period, it's in the same location as LED intensity, open the period integer. From here, we can customize how much of a duration in each blink should have. The default value is 2000 cause the value is in milliseconds. Since 1000 milliseconds equal to 1 seconds, it's 2 seconds, and that means the LED will blink for 2 seconds per blink. You can set any value in milliseconds. You can also set non-round values like 2500 for an example and that means an LED blink will last 2 and a half second. Set any value you want and restart the phone, that is all about this feature, have a nice day.